After Queen Elizabeth's death, the country does not appear to have another queen for many years, as the next two heirs to the throne are male. The first woman in line is eight-year-old Princess Charlotte, who sits in third place behind her father and older brother. While it's unlikely that Princess Charlotte will ever ascend to the throne, it's fair to say that she has a much better chance of wearing the crown that her great-aunt Princess Anne did, despite being in an incredibly similar set of circumstances at birth. Welcome to Royal Experts, if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any news about the British royal family. The reason for this is due to a major change introduced by the late Queen that changes the rules of primogeniture and who can step over who in the line of succession. The adjustment to the rule means that Princess Charlotte did not outlive her younger brother, Prince Louis, when he was born in 2018. Princess Charlotte Elizabeth Diana was born on May 2, 2015 at St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington and lives with her family at Adelaide Cottage on the Windsor Estate. Her current title is Her Royal Highness Princess Charlotte Elizabeth Diana, Princess of Wales, and she is third in line to the throne. Unlike her great-aunt Princess Anne, Princess Charlotte will not be pushed further back in the line of succession until Prince George has children. When Princess Anne was born in 1950, she was third in line to the throne, but by 1964, she had been pushed back two places by her younger siblings, Princes Andrew and Edward. The reason for this is the historical rule known as primogeniture, which eliminates any heiress if a younger brother is born. The rules of primogeniture were changed in the succession to the Crown Act 2013, meaning that any younger brother born after this date can no longer outrank his or her older sister. The Royal Family's website explains, the succession to the Crown Act, 2013, amended provisions of the Charter of Rights and the Settlement Act to end the male primogeniture system, under which a younger son can replace an eldest daughter in the line of succession. The law applies to those born after 28 October 2011. Although Princess Charlotte will likely never become queen, there is a very important title she is set to inherit. The Princess Royal is usually the eldest daughter of the monarch, and functions in the same way as the title of Prince of Wales does for both senior and high-ranking members of the royal family. Unlike other styles, when a title holder dies, her eldest daughter does not automatically inherit the title, and instead reverts to the king to bestow it on his daughter, if she has won. Since King Charles has no daughters, the title of Princess Royal will likely be suspended once Princess Anne dies, but will be returned to Princess Charlotte once her father becomes king. Thanks for watching until the end.